What is going on, y'all? I hope that you all out there are having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yenge, and thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. Now, as you saw earlier, I just gathered up a bunch of ingredients. I'm going to be making a pretty fancy-ish, gourmet-ish truck camping meal. I'm also going to be heading up to the local national forest. I'm going to be doing a little bit of camping. They finally opened up the campgrounds in the area, which is great because that means I can have an actual fire, which I'm going to need because it, it will be pretty nippy tonight. We're, we're having a little bit of a winter storm, if that's what you want to call it, here in Southern California. So there's lots of snow up there right now, as at, at least that's what I would assume because like from down here we could look into the mountains and see snow and those are the mountains that i'm going to be camping in so i'm hoping that there's going to be snow and that being said you guys sit back grab a beer grab a coffee grab something nice to sip on grab a lacroix whatever that may be and uh enjoy the video Yeah, that squeaking is really killing me. And I already tried to apply some WD-40. Well, I didn't try to. I applied WD-40 not long ago, and it worked. It took care of the squeak, and I thought, oh, problem solved. WD-40 does it again, fixes yet another problem. But the squeaking is back, so I think it must be a bushing or something. Hey, truck camper gang. Wow, okay, I, I definitely wasn't anticipating this much snow. I mean, man, this is, you would never think that this is in Los Angeles, California. Um, I knew that there was gonna be some snow, but this is like, it looks like I was somewhere up north or something. So I guess it's gonna be some winter truck camping, which is, you know, right up my alley because I've been doing a lot of that lately anyways. All right, we've got our spot for the night. Oh, shit. <laughs> there's so much snow here, this is crazy. I don't think I've ever camped up here when there's this much snow, and I've camped up here many nights. I think I'm gonna need to put on my gaiters so I don't get snow all up in my boots. Now, I know that I said that I would be sleeping in the truck tonight, and that probably would be a better decision, seeing as how much snow there is on the ground, but I haven't used my tent in such a long time, and also, I don't know if I've ever actually legit set up my tent in the snow. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna set up the tent and see how, see how I do. I, I've, I've saw a couple other people with their tent set up, so that motivated me. On a side note, I'm actually completely surprised how many people are up here camping. There's like a good six, maybe like six other sites that are taken. Whoa, shoot. There's steps there that I keep missing because they're like covered in snow. All right, I'm gonna set up my tent now and then we're gonna get to cooking. dark pretty soon already and I'm hungry
that's a struggle. I think it's since it's uh since it's so cold on the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and use two sleeping pads. Well, I'm gonna use three sleeping pads, two sleeping pads, and one like foam mattress topper thing, which I don't know if that actually provides any insulation or not. I also have my zero degree bag, so I think we'll be all right. Worst comes to worst, I'll just, I'll just in the middle of the night crawl into the truck. The old trusted truck. Definitely gonna need this guy. Supposedly they're tent safe. So I'm gonna take their word and hope that we don't burn to the ground. I've never done this, but apparently it helps insulate your tent because it prevents cold drafts from coming up underneath you while you sleep. So I'm giving it a shot. starting to snow again. Uh, I think I should start the fire now. I'm so hungry, but priorities. Priorities come first. That took longer than expected because everything's so wet and the snow started to come down. So even stuff that I brought got wet within a matter of minutes. So luckily, actually I don't even want to say anything yet. I don't want to risk jinxing it. It's nighttime now, obviously. So this fire came just in the nick of time. Fire's going. Seems like it's, uh, it's here to stay, so I'm gonna get to cooking dinner. I really wish I could have cooked when there was light out, but that's we missed that mark by quite a bit. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm gonna be making some miso glazed pan fried or cast iron fried uh, salmon along with some wild rice and some asparagus. It's gonna be really good. It does seem like a lot of effort right now, honestly, but it's gonna be worth it. the asparagus going because that's going to be cooking on the fire which might take a while so we want that to uh, start off right away sorry if you can't really see anything it's pretty dark limited on light obviously I had a leakage in my bag of soy sauce which might have been why I couldn't really start the fire oh man that's a lot that leaked. So we're gonna do asparagus, a little bit of olive oil, some garlic salt, and that's it. And just a little mixeroo there. Soy sauce should give it some flavor too, honestly. I'm gonna wrap this guy up like so. Right on there. 
everything we're gonna just eyeball here. About a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of that as well. About a quarter tablespoon. Oh, that's probably a little bit more, but that's all right. I like it spicy. Some guys just rode by on a bicycle. Freaking tamari that spilled everywhere. Ooh, that's a little bit rich, but that's all right. About a tablespoon of this as well, which is miso paste. Probably a little more because it's white miso, so it's going to be a little bit lacking in flavor. Ooh, yummy. I'm just going to give that all a nice little whisk till it's all incorporated. Yum. Here's the salmon. Hopefully this doesn't attract a bear. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big piece of salmon. I don't even think I need all of that. For this guy, real simple. Just gonna put a little bit of oil. Just some regular salt. Apply generously, of course. And get the cast iron going. I'm serious, I really hope that this doesn't attract a bear. Ooh, yeah. Salmon hands. Well, that's cooking, I might as well uh, crack open a cold one, eh? Man, this is a huge piece of salmon, I don't need that much. Oh well, I'll have to save some somehow. Mmm! It's about ready to flip. Oh man, it's a little burnt. Oopsies. Oh no. This is my first time ever cooking salmon while camping, so please forgive the uh, inability to do it properly. Alright. It's not done. It's not done, don't worry. I didn't forget about the miso, the miso glaze. Now, I know there's probably going to be some people commenting saying that bears are in hibernation during the winter and yes that's usually the case but here in Los Angeles or Southern California I should say um, I don't know if that's true something tells me that they're not in hibernation just because there's not that much snow I mean right now there is but typically we don't get that much snow I don't know where my spoon went damn Does it look like salmon? No. Does it look good? Hell yeah. Let's give this a shot. That's bomb. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's tasty. I'm just going for it, skin and all at this point. There's probably more nutrients in the skin that we miss out on anyways. The crispy skin, it actually ended up being for the best, I think. Ah, well, that was really tasty. Got a big mess to clean up, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna go enjoy the fire. Hope you enjoyed that little mukbang food sequence. I promise you, it was better than it looked. 
Actually, it looked pretty good, but on camera, it, I don't know. It might not have looked that good. Okay, I'm gonna get to cleaning now. I have made it safe and sound into my tent. It doesn't feel that cold, honestly. Well, I am going to run the buddy heater for a little bit. I've never used it in a tent, and I know that they're advertised as being tent safe, but obviously it's a little bit sketchy, but the, the tent ventilation is open. Um, I'm not gonna run it for that long, honestly. I'm gonna be closely watching it the whole time that it's running, just to make sure that nothing catches on fire. And if it does, at least we're in the snow. I do also have it sitting on top of this is my tool set uh, just because I didn't really feel safe putting it directly onto the tent floor. Oh yeah, baby. This, this buddy heater, I've said it in the past and I will say it again, it was a great purchase if you're gonna do anything in cold weather. All right guys, well, I guess that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm gonna continue to read for a little bit. Pretty toasty in here, obviously. There's not really insulation, it is a tent. But it's feeling good. I think it's I think it's gonna be warm tonight. I'll check back with you guys in the morning. We'll make some coffee, and then we'll both get on with our lives. All right, good night. <laughs> Howdy. It was, it got a little bit colder than it should have just because you probably can't tell in this shot, but my sleeping bag just got covered in, in water and condensation and really started dripping down on me. So it's, it soaked through the sleeping bag a little, which compromised the, the warmth, definitely. It's so wet. <laughs> oh. Oh, gotta get some airflow in here. Good cup of brew, y'all. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> I almost just choked to death on my coffee. <clears throat>
All right, and with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you, like always, for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. You guys, go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo, yada, yada, yada. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you back here in the next video.